This is a review of the Smart Weight Digital Platform Kitchen Scale. As you can see, this is pretty much what it looks like. Here's the box right here. It's a really nice box, actually. And the scale has two different platforms to it. You have one platform, which is not as precise, but it's, it's good. It's a really good scale. And then the other one is a very, is a more precise scale. And this also has on-off button, as you can see, tear one, which is for the first platform. The first platform is here. This is your second platform. You can have the tear weight for both platforms. You can change your units, for instance, uh, like kilograms, grams, uh, like milliliters, ounces, things like that. And for the full, it pretty much combines the weight on both platforms together for you if you want to. When you're trying to calibrate it, here is a 200 gram weight, as you can see from here, to help you to calibrate the scale. Um, it does already come calibrated with for you when it does arrive. Um, it does also come with instructions as well, and the instructions are written in multiple languages for your pleasure, but there is a nice section here that is English for you. But anyway, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to just basically show you how to do the uh, tear weight. So I'm going to come back and I will show you how to do the tear weight when I combine um, some hot dogs. Trying to uh, let's measure out some hot dogs on the scale and show you exactly what the tear weight does. Be right back. Alright, so I'm back here and what I have here is I have a... Just a regular little container right here that I'm going to use to tear weight. Basically what this tear does is that um, you put it on the scale and you would get the weight of just the package or the container by itself. And then it will pretty much like zero it out after that. And you can put anything else in there so it will get the weight. If you put the um, items that, that you want weighed in the container, it will just get the weight of the items that are in the container so that um, it will not consider the container weight when you want the total weight. Okay, so anyway, here's a little container that I have. It's just a little um, a portion control container that I have, and I've already pre-cut a few hot dogs, as you can see from here, just a little, few little hot dogs. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on, and here we go, I'm gonna turn it on right now. And it's going to show um, the different platforms. As I said earlier, you have platform one and you have platform two. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on platform two because platform two is a little bit more precise. So it's going to get the tear weight for that particular container, which is kind of nice. And I'm going to put this for, and it is on tear two. So I'm going to click the tear two button. So it's going to zero it out. So basically anything that you put into this container now will not be considered in the total weight. Um, this tear, so as you, as you notice right here, it says negative 0.516. That's because um, it's, it's not going to consider the container weight at all. You can uh, like reset this tear later by just basically turning it off so it doesn't it doesn't have a memory as far as what your like prior like tear was but anyway so I'm gonna put this on here and as you can see it's now zeroed again so I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in a couple of hot dogs in here and I'm gonna try to get it to be about roughly two ounces um, if you don't want ounces, that's fine. As I said from here, you can change your uh, units from here. Just change your units. So you can go to grams or um, kilograms, whatever you want. Milliliters for liquids, fluid ounces for liquids, ounces for food whatever you want. So I'm going to keep it on ounces for right now. Go back to ounces. Oh, there it is. Okay. So anyway, I want to try to get it at roughly about two ounces here. So 
And if and if I don't get it exactly at two ounces, that's fine too. We're at one point six. So it just kind of helps you to know how much you're putting into. Oh, that's a way over two. So I'm gonna take out a couple of those little pieces of hot dogs. That's a two point oh eight nine. I think that's really close. Put that one back. Anyway, oops, I think I dropped it. Did you see that? Let me get one more in here. All right, that's close enough. I've got it at 2.89, so that's just the hot dogs in the container. It's a little bit over two ounces, but at least you know like what you're eating. You could um, put the container on there, so you know that with this particular package, or the container that's in, that you are eating exactly two ounces, or a little bit over in this case, a little bit over two ounces of hot dog. So that's it. Thank you very much.